Do VPNs lie to you? It's been a while going. Different gossips about VPNs. Do they really protect your privacy and do they give you more online security? Will they stop Google, Facebook, Amazon and even the governments from tracking you and knowing everything about you? In this video I will put the puzzle pieces together and I will tell you where a VPN can be a solution for your privacy problems and where not. So stick to the very end because I'm pretty sure that what I'm going to tell you might catch you by surprise. I never talked about this on this specific channel here. So make sure you smash up the like button, make sure you subscribe to our channel and by the way guys, before I forget it, if you have any questions you're always welcome to leave a comment below the description. And with that being said, I wanted to come to the most important question of the day. What VPN can and cannot do? So let's start with a privacy issue. It's well known that when you go online, all your privacy has been taken away. Google, advertisers, social media networks, websites, webshops, and even the apps we download are constantly tracking us and checking who we are, what we do, and even where we are. If you search for a specific auto garage in your surroundings, you will most certainly start seeing ads of all other auto garages in your area. So what does a VPN do? Originally, a VPN hides your IP address and connects you, for instance, to an American server. And from that moment, wherever you browse, all third parties will not see your personal IP address, but a VPN's IP address in the USA. As a consequence, other parties like website owners, advertisers will not be able to track your real location and will not be able to create your personal profile picture. However, if you really want to protect your privacy, using a VPN is not a one-stop solution. A VPN will not be able to protect the information you freely give away. And that's why you should be very conscious of the accounts you are creating on the internet and the information you share with everybody. Every time you freely choose to leave information online which is linked to your account, you give away a piece of your own privacy to the party who created the account for you. So think about all the social media accounts you've ever made, such as Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, TikTok and others. Guys, these platforms are not security agencies. Everything what you put voluntarily on those media sites, such as your photos, videos, posts, and even the messages to your friends or what photos you're watching is beneficial for those platforms and will be used by those platforms for marketing purposes in order to make more profit for them. And the social dilemma here is that all these platforms are totally free. And as my grandfather said, if something is for free, you are the product. So just think about it. To create such platforms and to maintain them, to make them popular, naturally costs a lot of money. And in order to get a return for the owners, the product is your privacy. Every time you publish something, you give a piece of your privacy away. And that's the devil's deal. Will a VPN or any other program help you to keep your information private when you publicly expose yourself? Well, certainly not. A VPN is not a government and has no legal rights to restrict social media platforms to keep and to use your private data. A solution for this problem would be to delete your account or at least to share as little information as possible on these platforms. But if you still do, then make sure your entire profile or at least certain information is not visible for everyone, except your friends. How to do that you can find below in the description under this video. Another well-known privacy issue is that after searching for something online or visiting webshop, you notice that afterwards you're being traced all over the internet. I guess it has happened to you as well, that after looking for example for a new bag to buy, the same item ad keeps appearing on other websites over and over again. At first sight it might look that those webshops are abusing your privacy, but the reality might be a bit different than what you think. If you are a European citizen, your privacy is protected by the General Data Protection Regulation. This law applies to companies all around the world, including webshops outside the European Union. Not following this regulation threatens fines up to 20 million euros. But in order to deliver you a product, it's naturally that the law allows companies to collect data. 
So share your name, email address, house address, phone number and payment card details. As without it, it's impossible to deliver you your goods. And besides that, web shops are also allowed to collect extra data in order to optimize their web activity. For instance, by setting cookies. But an important thing is, in order to collect any kind of additional data, websites are obliged to get your consent. And there are many people who make this mistake. They visit the web shop, let's say example uh, Amazon.com, they open the website and here comes a pop-up. And let's be honest, most of us do not bother to read it. And we always click automatically on accept all cookies in order to get rid of the annoying pop-up. By clicking on this button, accept all cookies, we basically give permission to a website to collect all kinds of information about us. In other words, we voluntarily give our privacy away. So let's say we were not attentive and we gave a bunch of websites permissions to install cookies on our browser and to collect multiple data about us. Can a VPN be a solution for this problem? And can a VPN stop us from getting ads and trackers on our computer? Well, the answer is yes and no. So more premium VPNs like CyberGhost VPN or Surfshark can block ads, trackers and even malware so you're not bothered by it. But you have to keep in mind that less advanced VPN will likely will not have this function. And in that case, you need to install an additional ad and tracker blocker and below this video you can find a list with the best ad blockers and the best VPNs. Although some VPNs will protect your privacy from various methods of tracking, since recently some new methods have been developed to track your internet traffic and your online activities. And one of the most persistent techniques is the, the one of browser fingerprinting. Though a VPN will hide your IP address, it cannot protect you from browser fingerprinting. Browser fingerprinting is a huge problem for your online anonymity because there is not much what you can do about it. If you try to block your unique browser information, you can hardly use the internet anymore. This information is often simply necessary to load the website properly. Fortunate, not a lot of websites are using the fingerprinting. But in order to decrease your chances of being followed, there is something what you can certainly do. Firstly, I would like to advise you to still use a VPN service. And secondly, don't use the same browser for all your online activities. The more you break down your different users through different browsers, the harder it is to track you with one fingerprint all over the web. In order to protect your privacy, it's also worth to consider the Brave browser, which prevents you from being fingerprinted. In some places, the Brave browser removes or otherwise modifies your browser features to try to make it look like you're using every time a different browser and it uses techniques to make all Brave users look very similar to each other. The next thing what you could do is never to log in any social media account in the browser that you want to use to remain anonymous. If you have added an extension or two to your browser, make sure that the settings which you use are as generic as possible. This makes it more difficult for parties to distinguish your browser or fingerprint them from other browsers. Further, if you use an extension, use an extension which has so-called randomization. With a randomization effect, you can send different data to make it look like every time you use a different browser which makes it harder to fingerprint you. And one of those extensions which is doing that really well is the Sidec platform anti-fingerprinting for Google Chrome. And finally, you may consider setting up different virtual machines on your PC. That makes it in fact as there are several computers on one PC. And this allows you to confuse the browser fingerprinting parties and make it a lot more difficult for them to track you. A popular virtual machine to do that is VirtualBox. Furthermore, let's talk about Google. Can a VPN stop Google from tracking you? Now a VPN won't stop Google from targeting you with tailor-made ads. However, if you cherish your privacy, you can use a VPN to hide your identity. When you use a VPN, Google will just see the VPN IP address and cannot identify you as a single user. Of course, it's also important to mention that while using the VPN, you should stay locked out of your Google account. 
And just to be safe, you can put your browser into incognito mode. Also, don't use Chrome if you want to avoid Google from tracking you. Instead, choose a browser which is more privacy oriented like Firefox or Brave. However, besides your Google account, there are also some other ways Google can track you online. For example, with cookies, browser fingerprinting, which can track and trace all your activities to your account. And you will still get those personalized ads. However, you can minimize by choosing a VPN which has an ad and tracker blocking. Or you can install ad blockers such as Adblock Plus, Ublick Origin. You can also choose for another search engine such as DuckDuckGo or Startpage.com. You will have a search engine which is not collecting your search requests, computer data or just your search results based on your previous online behavior. Another question which is often raised by many people is can an employer see what you do at work when you're connected to a VPN? If you are using your own commercial VPN, your employer won't be able to track you through DNS logging about what you're doing online. But it's likely they will be able to detect that you are using your own VPN. So if you use your company's PCs, there's a high risk that your employer has made extra steps in order to monitor its employees' behavior. They might install monitoring software directly on your work device to see what you do online. And in such case, sadly, a VPN service won't be able to hide what you're doing on the device of your employer. So all in all, staying completely anonymous online is a tough cookie. Just using a VPN is like wearing sunglasses. You still need sunscreen. A VPN for sure does a couple of good things. Firstly, it could mask your IP address. This feature cannot be used only to hide your identity, but also to use a VPN IP address and pretend that you're in another location. By doing this, you can get access to geo-restricted contact. So you can watch the American Netflix, Hulu and other streaming services. With a VPN, you can save some money by buying from another location. Some websites charge the same price in dollars as in euros or apply lower VIT if you use a foreign VPN server. Secondly, a VPN encrypts all your data, so your data is protected even if you use an open Wi-Fi network. And a VPN is a perfect tool to prevent your internet service provider from seeing what you do online. And with a VPN you can also download torrents anonymously. Top VPNs like NordVPN also help you to get over the Great Firewall of China and other Asian countries where there's often strong internet censorship. And more advanced VPN providers nowadays also give you protections against ad, trackers and malware. In terms of privacy and anonymity, a VPN is a good start, but not enough to be fully anonymous. Besides using a VPN, there's a few more steps you can take. I would certainly recommend to you to use a tracker, ad and malware blocker in case your VPN doesn't have this function. And to use privacy friendly search engines like DuckDuckGo or Startpage.com. To use a privacy friendly browser such as Brave or at least Firefox with some extra plugins. And don't use the internet if you're logged into a Google account. And just to be safe, use your browser in incognito modus and share as little as possible personal data on social media. And be aware what consensus we're giving while visiting new websites. Most of us just click up the pop-up buttons without reading in the text what kind of cookies and permissions we give to the websites we visit. Use unique passwords, emails, account names, and even better, use a password manager to keep you secure online. If you want to chat privately, use Signal or Telegram instead of Facebook's WhatsApp. Use separate mail accounts for shopping, social media. And with that said, I hope these videos and these tips were useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining my channel. And if you didn't do that so far, then scroll down, press the subscription button, press the like button and hit the notification bell. And if you look for more information, you can find it all in the description of this video. And with that being said, we will see each other very soon in the next video. And as always guys, stay safe online.